Okay guys, welcome back to another meal prep video. So, just wanted to show you what I am meal prepping this morning. I have quite a bit of things to do. So, we're gonna get started pretty early. Um, I'm gonna be making a BLT pasta, which will be a side dish, dish plus also just a lunch option for the week. Um, so I need to cook the pasta, then assemble the salad. I wanna make some breakfast sandwiches and I wanna make a shredded chicken salad. So I'll be making that, some breakfast parfaits, and then I need to grill up some chicken in the air fryer that I'll be using for my lunch and for dinner. Pineapple salsa for one of my lunches. I need to make some brown rice in the Instant Pot so I have it for lunches and dinners. I'm going to make up some seasoned black beans I'll be using for a dinner, pico de gallo for a dinner, and grilling up some bell peppers for dinner. So I'm just doing some dinner prep, lunch prep, and a breakfast prep, a little bit of everything. I think I'm gonna throw hard boiled eggs on there because I really wished I would have had those last week. So I'm gonna put those on there and let's get into the meal prep video. So I just want to thank those of you that reminded me that I had a French press and that I should use that for my cold brew coffee. I've been making a batch of cold brew coffee every single weekend and this has made it so much easier easier. So I find that letting it sit for 15 hours has been my just perfect time for the coffee. Um, I just simply put in a one and a half cups of coarse ground coffee into my French press, fill it up with water, let it sit for 15 hours, press it out, add the same amount of water that I end up with coffee, and I just do that. And so it ends up being just enough. Sometimes I have to make more throughout the week, but usually this is enough to last me the entire week. So when I looked at my meal prep list today, I wanted to make sure I got all the items out of the way that are going to take some extra time. So first up is the brown rice that I'll be making in the pressure cooker. I'm adding in one and a half cups of brown rice and to that I'm adding in two cups of water. So sometimes I use chicken broth if I plan on opening up one. I always buy those big things of chicken broth. So if I'm opening it up for another recipe, then I will also use it for my rice. But in this case, I'm just using water this week. So I'm gonna cook this under the brown rice setting and I'm gonna add it to 20 minutes because I find that 15 minutes makes the rice is still just a little bit crunchy. So 20 minutes for me is perfect. And then I will let that naturally release the pressure. So next up is the pasta I need to cook. I'll be using this for the BL pasta, BLT pasta salad, but I want this to be nice and cool before I add in the other ingredients. And I'm just cooking this according to package instructions. So now I'm going to work on chopping and dicing all the fruits and vegetables that I'm going to need for the rest of the recipes. This will make the rest of the recipes come together so much quicker. So I highly recommend you to chop up everything all at once if you have several recipes to make in your meal prep. So I have a lot of vegetables and fruit to cut up as you will see. So next I'm going to get the chicken marinating that I'll be using for a lunch and a dinner recipe for this week. So I'm going to take a quarter cup of avocado oil and also add in two tablespoons of taco seasoning. I'm going to add that to two pounds of chicken tenderloins. So I'll just let this marinate for the rest of the meal prep and I'll cook up the chicken last. So I will be assembling some breakfast sandwiches a little later in this prep. So I wanna go ahead and cook the eggs so they're nice and cool also. So I'm going to take eight whole eggs. I'm adding in some of the Trader Joe's onion salt, some red pepper flakes, and also a splash of water. So after a quick whisk, I'm gonna pour these onto a baking sheet that I sprayed with cooking spray. And then I'm gonna put this into a 350 degree oven and cook it for 12 minutes. 
So now I'm going to make up a batch of the Skinny Kitchen Ranch. I'll be using this for my salads and also I need some for the pasta salad I'll be making later on. So I'm taking one and three quarters cup of 1% buttermilk and to that I'm adding in a half a cup of light mayo and two packages of the buttermilk ranch dressing mix. So now it's time to start putting all the recipes together now that all of my prep before the prep is done. So first up, I'm going to make a shredded chicken salad. I have some rotisserie chicken breast here that I'm going to shred up with my little like wannabe hand mixer. You guys, I really need to get a regular hand mixer. This thing just doesn't cut it. Once I have the chicken all shredded up, I'm adding in a half of a cup of fat-free mayo and some celery okay so a lot of celery i really like celery in my chicken salad um some diced red onion some dill pickle relish and a squirt of dijon mustard and you just want to stir 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 and there you go a yummy simply filling chicken salad that i will be having for lunch this week so next up is a BLT salad that I'll be having as a side dish or may even have it for lunch later on today. So I'm just going to prepare the pasta part, but when I serve this, I will have it with romaine lettuce as you saw. So to the already cooked and cooled whole wheat pasta, I'm adding in four tablespoons of bacon bits. You guys know I don't like bacon, but I don't mind bacon bits. I'm adding in one tablespoon of sugar-free barbecue sauce, a quarter cup of the Skinny Kitchen Ranch, and a quarter cup of fat-free mayo, and then one diced up Roma tomato. So I'm gonna stir that up, and there you go. The flavor on this, you guys, is amazing, especially when you add in that crunch of the romaine lettuce. It is really, really good. Now it's time to assemble the breakfast sandwiches. So I'm gonna cut the eggs into squares. A pizza cutter works really, really good for this. It just it's, it slides through so fantastically. So to assemble the sandwiches, I am taking a high-fiber English muffin, I'm going to top that with some of the egg, one slice of Canadian bacon, and a slice of fat-free American cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap these up in some plastic wrap, and then I will throw these into the freezer, just take them out the night before I want to have it for breakfast, put it in the microwave or in the air fryer, and they come out perfect. So for another breakfast this week, I will be having some parfaits. So to my mason jars here, I am going to be adding in some plain non-fat Greek yogurt, some grape nut cereal, which I personally count as simply filling, and some fresh strawberries and raspberries. So a serving of this cereal is a half of a cup, so I'm putting in a quarter cup in the bottom of the jar, topping that with some plain non-fat Greek yogurt, and then topping that with some fruit, more yogurt on top of that, and then a quarter, last quarter cup of the cereal on top of the yogurt. So what's great about this cereal is that it will hold up in the refrigerator and not get soggy. So my other lunch this week is going to be some chicken rice bowls with pineapple salsa. So to make the pineapple salsa, you wanna take one and a half cups of fresh pineapple, a half of a cup of cilantro, one tablespoon of diced jalapeno, a half of a cup of diced red onion and the juice of one lime. And then you're also gonna add in an eighth of a teaspoon of cumin. So stir it up and there is your salsa. So I'm gonna cook the chicken for this recipe in the air fryer. So half this chicken that I'm cooking up will be for this lunch and the other half will be for a dinner I'm having later in the week. And when I serve this lunch, I will have some rice, some of the brown rice, some of the chicken and some of the pineapple salsa and then I'll add a little bit of avocado to that for some healthy fat and that will be one of my lunches this week. So for one of my dinners this week, I'm gonna be having some chicken burrito bowls. So I need some fresh pico de gallo for that. I also need that grilled chicken and then some grilled bell peppers. So again, I'll be grilling my chicken up in the air fryer as well as the bell peppers will go in the air fryer as well. So to make the pico de gallo, I am cutting up one pound of cherry tomatoes and I'm just slicing those in half. Um, to those tomatoes, I'm adding in one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, a handful of fresh cilantro, some diced red onion, some green onion, some of the diced jalapeno, some salt and the juice of one lime stirred up and there you go you guys will see this dinner in my what i ate video that will be posted later on this week probably on wednesday 
So I didn't get to everything that I wanted to do today because I started going over my time limit that I set for myself, which was 90 minutes, but I still got a lot done and I am still ready for a successful week. So check out the description box for the recipes and also the points for everything. And I will also make note if the recipe is simply filling. So check out the playlist on the screen for more meal prep videos and please subscribe if you've not already done so. And thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.